Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over the pump efficiency formula. This equation is very common for the FE exam. I actually got a couple questions where I had to use this equation. Now also make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you some units conversion, which is really important for this equation. And yet it is not mentioned on the reference manual. For more videos covering important equations on the reference manual, or if you're just taking engineering classes, don't don't forget to subscribe and make sure you guys hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Friday. Now let's get started. Oh yeah, Okay guys, knowing the reference manual, it's really important for the FE exam. Now, whenever I'm working with my students or even when I share videos with you guys here in this channel, I always have the reference manual open because it's important to get familiar with it. And not only that, make sure you guys understand the equations really well, how to use them, when to use them, and lastly, the units. I always emphasize on this, you can have the right equation, but if you mess up the units, you will get the wrong answer and that could totally mess you up. And that is why I decided to share this with you guys. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your FE exam. Okay guys, so the pump efficiency or the brake power equation is on page 113 on the reference manual. The equation is here, right? And it's under the fluids mechanics section. So in the exam, you might be asked to calculate what is the pump brake power, okay? And so if you get a question like that, all you gotta do is just type it. So this is the search bar that you're gonna have. So I mentioned this on my previous video, where I was talking about how the actual search bar looks like on the FE exam. So I will leave the link above somewhere there. You guys can click it if you haven't watched it. And so let's say you just go on there, you search it. And if you do, it's gonna take you right to that equation. Okay guys, so now let's go over the first term. So we have rho times G. Now we can easily simplify this. What is the units for density? is kilograms per cubic meters. G, gravity, it's meters per second squared. Kilograms, meters per second squared, that's newtons per cubic meters. And the units for this, it's really unit weight, right? Gamma. Now, if you were giving water as the fluid, gamma is gonna be either 9.81 or 62.4. So you can easily replace this term by gamma. Now, if you are giving a different fluid, usually you will be provided either the density, and if that is, just multiply by G, or you would be provided the unit weight. Now, lastly, if you're giving the specific gravity of the fluid to find the gamma of the fluid, all you gotta do is specific gravity times gamma water. So the second term H, H is the head added by the pump. Usually when we use a pump is to add or increase energy to the fluid. If you guys wanna see a problem on how we calculate head added by pump, leave it in the comments below. So Q is the flow rate of the fluid and usually it is provided to you. It's not like H where you actually have to calculate for it. But what they can also do is give you the velocity and the area of the pipe. And what you gotta do is use the continuity equation for the incompressible and steady flow, where Q is equal to V times A. Make sure units are right for v, v and A so that you get the right units for Q. Okay guys, lastly, we have the efficiency of the pump. This one is really easy. Usually it's given to you in percentage. All you gotta do is divide it by 100. So now the units. So this is for SI units, this is English units. Uh, if you are dealing with the gamma unit weight and you have water, use 9. 9.81 make sure that this is actually kilonewtons per cubic meters not just newtons this just changes a little bit your units here we'll talk about that in a little bit english we have 62.4 pounds per cubic feet if you were giving a density of the fluid just multiply it by gravity now let's go to head so the units for head is usually meters and feet now i talked about this in one of my previous videos where we calculated the pressure head the, the velocity head so the head added by the pump is the same thing if you haven't watched that video, I will leave the link above there. You guys can just check it out. Now Q, we have cubic meters per second or cubic feet per second. So as we mentioned earlier, Q is V times A, which is meters per second times meters squared. And that gives you these units. Pump, make sure you divide it by 100. So now if we look at the overall unit in the equation, note guys that the meters cubed and meters cubed cancel. So you're left with kilonewtons meters per second. This is really the units for work because we have force times distance. And per second, the unit for work is joules, right? So we have kilojoules per second, and this gives us kilowatts. Now, if you use 9,810, the answer is gonna be in watts. If you do use this and you get kilowatts and the answer wants it to, for you to have it in watts, you can easily convert by multiplying by 10 to the power of three. Now for the English units, the cubic feet cancels and you're left with pounds foot per second. Now, 
Usually for these problems, you want to provide the answer in horsepower. And to actually do that, you got to do a small little conversion. You have to divide this by 550. Just a couple more tips. So make sure you guys add this in your chichi. Now I talked about the chichi and the importance of having one in one of my videos. If you haven't checked it out, I'll definitely re recommend it. Now, let me show you guys something real quick. If we go back to the equation on page 113, you guys can see here, there's no mention whatsoever of the 550, right? But if we actually type 550, it will take you to this equation here, which is the next page, 114. But if you didn't know it, you would probably miss it. And so this is why knowing the equations really well can be important. Now, I hope you guys know how to apply this equation. If you guys want some practice problems, you can visit my website, just scroll all the way to the bottom, sign up or enter your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. I have helped many students pass their FE exam, and hopefully I can help you with that as well. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and comment below with helpful if this video helped you. Thank you guys for being here. It is awesome what you guys are doing, studying for this test. I know it can be overwhelming, but I am here to support you and just keep going, keep studying. It would totally be worth it once you guys pass. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.